Hi everybody, it's Karen Money Williams here with another edition of Poupe Theater where the puppets or a poupe in the French pronunciation ask uh, relevant timely questions. And today we have a return guest. Uh, he's been here years ago. Well, not that long, but seems like it because we've missed him so much. Come on in. Come on in, Bowser. Come on in. I'm not Bowser, though, am I? No, you're not Bowser. That's just a name that, you know, you can call any dog. And you are a dog, correct? I am a dog, but my name is Blinding Light. I know your name is Blinding Light. And it's wonderful to have you back, Blinding. What have you been doing with yourself since we haven't seen you for so long? Well, I've been investigating the power of crystals. Crystals, huh? Well, that sounds quite interesting. It is quite interesting. They have miraculous powers to heal, I believe. Well, um, yeah. And if you're enjoying investigating that, well, that's a wonderful thing for you to do. Do you believe they have miraculous powers to heal? I believe that if you believe they do, they do. How about that? Did you have a question? Uh, another question? Yes. What is it like for Esther Hicks to channel? I myself might channel one of these days. Well, very good for you. That's something else for you to investigate, kind sir. You know, it's so funny that you should ask me because I was just listening to an older cassette tape by Abraham Hicks. It's from the year 2000, and um, it was from a workshop in San Diego, California. I, it must have been only 15 minutes ago I was listening to that. Well, that's synchronicitous. Yes, it is synchronicitous, by golly. You know, if you'd like to hear a bit of it, I'll play it. Would you like to hear it? Yes, I really would. Okay, well, you know, I've got it queued up because I just thought that somebody might happen along and want to hear it. So, you know, let's just have a listen, shall we, you and I? Yes. Okay, here we go. So have you ever manifested in other physical bodies? Have you ever been manifested in other physical bodies? Well, your question is flawed as, at its premise because it implies that there is physical and non-physical, when in reality there is always non-physical that is sometimes focused in physical. And so we, even as you are expressing here, we are focused here through you. We are focused here through Esther. We are a stream of consciousness that is, we can focus through a frog or through a rock or through a leaf. We are never deprived of our ability to focus through physical ever. Everything that is physical must have the non-physical energy within it or it ceases to be you see yeah. so it's not an either or thing but physical beings as they are approaching non-physical keep thinking that it's a clump of physical flesh and a clump of non-physical energy and somehow it must come together and so mm -hmm. you say Abraham you clump of non-physical energy have you ever flowed yourself into a clump of flesh and we say not in that way no one has I gotcha yes Okay. stream stream r river of consciousness but sometimes that is a little unsettling because you are accustomed to identifying yourselves as individuals you like the singularity of that which you are even though we are all collected consciousness all of the time anyway and so sometimes it's easier to understand your place in all of this as you view someone like Esther who is in this moment a physically focused human who is in this moment allowing a broader stream of consciousness to flow through her than on a normal day-to-day -day basis. In other words, more than her inner being is flowing, more than her physical human personality is flowing, a stream or a river of consciousness is flowing. So there are endless perspectives, endless holders of endless information, infinite and intelligence at her fingertips you see mm -hmm. or better stated at your fingertips because you are the accessor of this mm -hmm. and so if you were to say to Esther what is it like are you setting yourself aside are you dead are you numb are you unconscious what is your experience like Esther would say to you 
It is an expanded experience. I can feel the clarity that is me, but I can feel a clarity that far surpasses the clarity that is me. I can feel a clarity and a broadness and a clearness and a knowingness and an all at oneness and an all is wellness that far surpasses anything that I experience when it is just Esther's personality focused in Esther's time space reality. So Esther's sense of re-emerging into non-physical, she's lost all fear or all worry about losing herself in the great, uh, the great uh, soup of the non-physical because she can feel the clarity of the consciousness. She can feel the ability to focus even within it. And separate it. Well you are you remain the individual but you have at your beck and call the breadth of information or intelligence relative to any subject that you would choose and as you understand that you could even pick the best stockbroker <laughs> <laughs> you could find the perfect love partner you could choose the perfect food for you you have infinite intelligence at your beck and call all you have to do is call and let it in is that what means getting into full consciousness it is mm -hmm. it is what enlightenment is mm -hmm. yes indeed okay thank you indeed we have enjoyed this interaction immensely it is delicious to come together with those like you who are coming more clearly to understand in every day that you are the creator of your experience we think that you are receiving our message clearly today. We'll reiterate it just in case you missed it. You are powerful beings standing in exactly the right place, who are adored by all that is, who are deserving of all of the well-being that you can conjure and imagine, and most importantly, allow. And so look for more and more ways to let it in. Laugh more and play more and eat more, <laughs> be easier about all things, reach for thoughts that feel good and let the emotions that are within you guide you and live happily ever after in the way that you've intended as you said you would come forth into this leading edge experience. From our place, we are appreciative beyond Esther's ability to formulate words to express of your willingness to chew upon the data in order to conclude the new idea because the new idea is everything. It's what we are all about, the expressing in this leading edge space into the new idea. So you, like pioneers, find the new idea and non-physical energy like us rushes forth for the completion of it and you along the way can be there in the enjoyment of it or not. This seminar is about you getting in on the fun too. That was great. I really like that. Did you find any clarity? Yes, I did find a lot of clarity with that. I'm glad. Let's uh, ha uh, explore another topic another day, shall we? Yes, I would love it. Oh, so much. Oh, so much synchronicity at my fingertips. Okay, <laughs> bye blinding. Um, catch you later. And um, tell, uh, tell the, uh, your mama happy Mother's Day, will you? I sure will. Okay. <laughs> and toodaloo to everyone. Thanks for joining us.